mean? What does uh, Jose being Jose mean? Jose being Jose means he plays like he really fully believes in himself that when you play like you feel like you can do no wrong, like y'all like not on some I'm just throwing up wild shots, but like I'm here for a reason. When he does that, y'all see the energy he brings. Like he just has 38. And it's not like we're telling him, Jose, don't shoot. I tell him all the time, Jose, be yourself. When you be yourself, you are our X factor. You can be bring energy. We need runs, you're there for us. So I try to tell him all the time, even since last year, hey man, you the X factor, be yourself. Was there a point in that one where, where he made one, you're like, okay, this might be a, a different type of night for him? I want to say it was uh, in the first half, just one in the, just kind of on the, the right wing. And you know, from a basketball mind, you can tell when somebody shoots a certain shot and the way it goes in, I just kind of was like, Whew. oh yeah, he's on one. He, the way he made that, yeah, keep shooting. Uh, how bad were you trying? You guys trying to get him 40 there at the end? Uh, let Larry tell you. Uh, <laughs> Larry said, I tried to set two screens, held two people off, and he didn't want it. <laughs> but now nah, we all want him to get 40, though. Uh, I mean, as soon as he came in the game, he was able to make an impact, the, the, the score shift that you guys had to run. Uh, just speak to his energy at that moment. I know you say he's always the X factor, but at, at that particular moment to come in and kind of switch everything right away. I mean, it goes back to what I've been saying about Coach Green past few games and all season. Um, Jose, in that moment, he felt his number was called and, you know, he had to make make a play, do something. And he did that and more. Uh, even in the fourth, when it felt like the game was kind of about to get closer and under 10, some shots he made were huge and that opened the game for us. And. Uh... Should Trey do the dunk contest or the three-point contest during the All-Star break? I told him if he want to be one of the greats, he should do both. And he got <laughs> he got he got to win both though. <laughs> uh, I mean, you obviously get a lot of love whenever you walk in this gym, but what's it like just to see the way the city embraces Jose every time he checks in, or the Jose chants, and just how much the city has embraced everything that he does? Man, it's amazing. I remember uh, being out last year in the beginning of the year. Uh, I remember me, I'd be on the bench and Jose wasn't playing a lot and he'd, he'd look at me like, so he was like, what do you think I can do to, to get on the court, like make an impact? I said, Jose, I guess it starts with when, you, when your number is called, go out there and execute everything coach, the coaches want you to. And the more they trust you, the more they'll leave you on the court and in the C, where he was just asking me questions and I was only in my third year and to see him now having nights nice like this, I mean, it, it's amazing. He, the love he gets, he deserves it all and more because even away from the court, he's still that same dude and can't help but love him. How big is it that, you know, this is a came in the game against the team that was in number two in the West. You guys know that's the team that you may see down the line and just being able to play like that uh, against one of the better teams in the league. I mean, that's big for us. Uh, you know, Denver is a amazing team. Uh, they go far in the playoffs. Um, so when we play against teams like that, uh, kind of help gauge us to where we are. So Z, no BI, CJ still working back from COVID. You see Jose have the game he had. Trey's flying around in the third quarter. Billy comes off, who you know doesn't play often, comes and gives you a big game. When you look at this team, what do you see? What do you think? We got a lot of depth. And I say, I say it a lot. And I don't just say it because they're my teammates. I say it because I mean it. We have a lot of depth on this team. This is a special team. People forget Billy won MVP in EuroLeague. And if you have a basketball mind, that is not an easy accomplishment because the rules are harder over there versus the NBA. Like, they can knock the ball off the rim, uh, the court smaller and stuff like that, like how they play. I mean, and he won MVP in that. So me and Billy talk all the time, like, man, Billy, I wish I wish they would play you more. But, uh, you know, he understands the name of the game. We have a deep team. And when his number is called, he always steps up. Yeah, I think basketball, it's its relatively intimate among pro sports, and there's this element of showmanship I'm sh that you know. You can kind of engage the crowd a little bit at times. Why do you think Jose is, is as good at that as he is? 
and what does it add to, to, to your games? <laughs> um, <clears throat> in, in this world, you know, just as humans, we love an underdog story. Like, it, that's just the nature of the game. People love underdog stories. Uh, they all, you always want to see the team or the person people consider the best. You build like a rise and fall narrative. That's people do in the world. So to see somebody like Jose, not the tallest guy out there, um, doesn't have a lot of the physical attributes that a prototypical NBA player would have, and but he's out there, and he's not just out there. He's making the impact. He's the X factor for us. So. When people see that and he is telling them to stand up and get hype, it's infectious energy. You can't help but want to be a part of that. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve.